welcome to my tea. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because look what arrived! Finally! So I pre-ordered a book from Mystic Box in May, June, I don't know. It was a birthday present to myself. It's the first special edition I've ever like actually like gotten myself. I'm to make it fun, Put it down in the comments what you think the book is because you know what if you know you know and if you don't i would love to hear your guesses i am so excited so excited i literally came home from a party because i got an email notification that this had been delivered today and they just didn't notify me before so i came home to open this because i've just been on the edge of my seat waiting for it for like a week. I mean, months ago I ordered it, but it's been supposed to be delivered last week and every day I've been like, is it today? Is it today? And it is today. So here we go. Okay, cut it open. Moment of truth. Got a lot of bubble wrap. Hopefully we're not it. I'm so excited. Oh my god, it comes shrink wrapped? This is it! It's my book series! And then the spring edges! Oh my god! Oh my god. The back. <laughs> I'm so doing an October reread of this! The chapter pages. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it. Listen. Oh, not the chapter pages getting darker. I'm such a sucker for that. So we saw the artwork on the inside. Now if we take the dust jacket off, it's so pretty. Lay that down nicely. Oh, you can't really see it in the light, but. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, it's not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. You would be lying. Oh. I am obsessed. I am in love. Ah, I'm so happy this is sitting in my hand right now. I'm even color coded for it. Look at that. It was meant to be. It was literally meant to be. So now that I've opened it, I will give a little context if you're not familiar with it. So this is the Mindfuck series. It's actually a collection of five novellas, I believe, but they're all very short. They're between like 80 and 120 pages, I think. And the collection of all of them, which is this, is just over 600 pages. This follows my baby, my heart and soul, Lana Myers. She's a serial killer, okay? She's got a list going, literally on one of the first pages. And you're like, how could you dare root for a serial killer? Call her your baby. Because you know what? They deserve it. Sorry to say it, but her backstory is so freaking dark, so check triggers going into that, um, that I 100% support her in her need for revenge. This is also the single best revenge stories I have ever read in my life. Yes, literally yes. So it's considered a dark romance because it's like female serial killer, um, male FBI serial killer profiler. He's working on her case, they're dating, he doesn't know that she's the serial killer. So like that's all going on but honestly for me this was like her story and it is solely driven by revenge. I don't even care about the romance at all. I mean it's an interesting premise but like the revenge is what mm, it's just what brings it in for you. I have never been so satisfied with an ending in my entire life. Not the epilogue but the ending I literally love it so much. I read them on Kindle. They're available on KU I think. But now that I own it, I'm like literally obsessed. I wanted it on my shelf. And when I found out that Mystic Box with like my favorite book boxes was doing a Mindfuck series like collection edition, I was like, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. 
So now I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. Guys. Um, 1000% you have to go read it. The covers of like the individual books are very bad. They're very bad, okay? You you look at that cover and you're like, I don't want to read this. Don't look at the cover. Trust me, look at this cover. Think of this cover, okay? Those covers are so bad, but the series is so good. You will not regret it. I've never met anybody that has read the series and disliked it. Literally five out of five on every book. You have to go read it right now. There is no excuse. And this is going to sit on my shelf forever. It is so freaking pretty. I'm sorry. I can't. I literally, ah, oh, I can't. And I match. We match. But anyways, that's all I got for you. I will just hold that up again. Gorgeous. Literally gorgeous. I'm so happy to have this. Zero regrets. Zero regrets. If you ever read anything that I ever recommend on this channel, it should be this 1000% except heck triggers. So maybe not 1000%. But Really, if you take anything away from my channel, my page, any of my videos, it should be to read this series. So freaking good. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for coming to my rant. Thanks for unboxing with me. I'm so excited. I needed the energy to go somewhere. Let me know down in the comments below if you've read it or what you think the best revenge story is because I don't think anything can top this, but I am interested to see what other people say because I love a good revenge story. I really, really do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Friday, sometimes on Tuesdays when I'm feeling it. Um, so ring that bell for notifications and you won't miss anything. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.